Hey everyone, it's me, your streamer. Now, I know that I've been a little inconsistent with the uploads lately, and today will be no different. Much like last video, where I just kind of threw an idea together and uh, said I would work on it later, I have lost interest once again. Uh, it, it has been sent into the halls of teams I've lost interest in, but I might look into it eventually when I have some time uh, to make the Combine Landers, but Today, uh, I have a new Pokemon that I'm a little bit uh, interested in, so that Pokemon's gonna be Toxapex. Anyways, that's what we're gonna be using today. Uh, I had an idea for a funny little Toxapex team, we'll get into it in a second, but if you guys enjoy this same point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content, or at least, I try to. Uh, but yeah, comment question of the day is gonna be the exact same as last time. I am putting out YouTube shorts, and you should expect like four or five a week. Uh, probably once every weekday. Uh, and also, a quick update, I am changing the schedule for edited videos. Uh, it's now going to be the lore video drops on Wednesday, and the uh, discussion videos are going to drop on Sunday. It just helps out with the uh, workflow of things. But yeah, uh, one minute intro over. Uh, let's let's get into this. Uh, oh yeah, and my question today, tell me what kind of shorts I should make. Let me know. So, uh, why is Toxapex interesting to me? Well, um, Rocky Helmet is good, Regenerator is ballin', and I, I, I think that it'd be really funny to try to run Toxic Spikes in VGC, and I'm like, how do I run Toxic Spikes in VGC and get away with it? Well, last time I did this, um, I ended up running Venom Drench, which is really funny, but uh, not, not the best move, uh, so now I am running Scald, uh, and with all this, uh, all this ability to stack debuffs and statuses i thought it'd be really funny to try to use uh hex spectrier it's not like it gets coverage anyways so that's what we're doing today we're using nasty plot shadow ball and hex to like wall break things that might be uh poisoned or burnt um next to this uh, tox specs beyond that the rest of the team is fairly standard uh, we have assault vest rillaboom u-turn knockoff fake out grassy glide by the way i'm, I'm calced on this guy to be able to take a uh, Regieleki Thunderbolt as long as it isn't boosted. Uh, we're also able to take a Choice Banded Urshifu Wicked Blow into a second one. Granted, on that first turn, we burn it with Scald. Uh, we are calced to eat Earth Power from Landers if we knock off the Life Orb. And yeah, that is what it does. It does the funny. And we switch it out. We have a lot of pivoting tools, uh, which will allow us to uh, get this Toxapex healthy in no time. So yeah. Uh, we have, and also I'm, I'm going to switch in on Urshfu Rapid Strike everything, it's going to be really funny. We have Assault Vest Rillaboom, like I said, standard set. We have Choice Scarf, Urshifu, uh, Urshifu Single Strike, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, U-Turn, Poison Jab. No Sucker Punch, because we are Jolly Choice Scarf. We have Focus Ash Spectre, Nasty Plot, Hex, Funny Set. If I wanted to be um, not a coward, I would drop Shadow Ball for a ground move or something, but I'm just going to run Double Ghost. We have Clefairy, standard-ish set, Eviolite, Protect, Follow Me, Moonblast, Icy Wind, and we of course have standard Sugar Berry and Cinnamor. We're eating everything once, we're doing our thing. But yeah, last video I got away with a lot of games that I really shouldn't have, and now we're, what, what's my rank? I don't know what my rank is, 1382, so we're like lower mid-ladder, mid-low ladder, high-low ladder, whatever you want to call it, we're not quite mid-ladder. Uh, because I can't help but make new teams every single day. So <laughs> let's just try out this 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 fun little experiment and see how good we do. For all we know, like I said, I guess I should have said this. I haven't played a single game with this yet, but I think it could be quite funny. Um, I mean, the Toxapex lead is is kind of great. Uh, it covers for a lot of things. I mean, I wall out everything that isn't um, Raichu. I mean, obviously the Heatran could have earth power but uh we can eat that pretty easily i think i want to go for it like obviously you know tapu Fini can uh prevent the toxic spikes but if you don't know I'm, I'm pretty sure the uh toxic spikes if you switch tapu Fini in on them the terrain goes after they get poisoned if i remember so let's do this um i want to lead off with what's the likelihood i end up revealing my scarf if i lead off urshifu decently high not great let's just go rillaboom toxapex it seems fairly safe uh in the back i'm gonna go ahead and bring the urshifu and i kind of have to bring spectrier which kind of sucks i really don't want to yeah i really don't want to but it's like my only actual special attacker on the team i could bring incineroar but that's also like fairly unsafe so let's just see what we can do okay uh i'm fine with this one let's go for the toxic spikes and the um 
Ooh, you know what? Wait, that isn't safe at all. Because they're just going to switch in the uh, the Tsarina. I'm fairly certain they're going to they're gonna want to do that. Hmm. What do we do about this, buddy? I don't have Will-O-Wisp on anything. <laughs> I'm going to lose my Rillaboom this early. This is bad. I still think the spikes are a good idea. All right, you know what? Let's just U-turn. I'm not about to be victimized by the Tsarina. Go ahead, take it. Take all that recoil. I don't need it. I don't need it. Uh, and now I can get in the Urshfu. Obviously, we have to get rid of Steve. Why are you named Steve? Why are you... Why are you named Steve? Uh, and let's go ahead and go for the Scald. I don't want Toxic. I just want Poison. And Choice Scarf Wicked Blow should do it onto Steve. I mean, I could also Close Combat to be safe, but I don't want to get one shot. Oh, it didn't KO. I mean... We're probably fine, unless they're dual wing beat. Okay, that's fine. Why is that fine? Spectrier is in. We're gonna hit this Tapu Fini with the Yoinky Splunky. Oh yeah. <laughs> we are going to hit it with the Yoinky Splunky. They have no idea what's coming for them. Do I want a nasty plot? I mean, they have low sweep, which is actually some pretty sick tech. I kind of think they might Calm Mind on me. This is extremely unsafe. Yoinky Splunky time. Oh, yo? Wait, 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 wait. Did I get that right? I got that play entirely right. I got that play 100% right. Holy, okay. Now, this might not KO, but it will be doing a ton of this Tapu Fini. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose, by the way. Just thought I, put that, I, I just thought I put that out there. I mean, there are leftovers. But they definitely don't have recovery. I mean, I let me see. Let me try Scalding this guy. I'm fairly certain I lost this first match, but honestly, I'm not really trying to do good today. I just want to use something funny. Poison does outpace them. Do they not have earth power? They don't. They don't have earth power. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, am I going to win? I could win this. Because, like, let's think about this. What's What's their move? They do have Earth Power, that's not great. They missed the Power Whip, very cool. I tank that. Okay. Now all the haters at home are saying, Marcos, you lose. I don't. <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> that's why I don't lose, baby. Alright, cool. Once again, a match I did not deserve to win goes entirely in my favor. Good game. It's it's that's the that's the Moxie boosted difference. Listen. You don't have to be good at this game to win. You just have to, you have to believe in yourself. And you know what? I forgot. Last time I did this, there were no good poison types. So they couldn't actually clear the, the, <laughs> they couldn't actually clear it, you know? Um, now there's a good poison type. So maybe we don't bring Toxpex to this game. <sighs> I wish, I, I miss when there were no good poison types. Also, I have nothing to break the Ndidi. So I kind of have to lead off Urshifu. And do I lead off like Urshifu Rillaboom and like just go for my U-turn? I don't want to lead off with like Incineroar. Obviously Incineroar usually be like a really great lead versus this. Um, but uh, the uh, the guy here could be problematic. <sighs> Let me think. I guess... I mean, I guess Urshifu isn't, like, the worst lead, but also I could get absolutely annihilated by this guy. Let's do... And I also can't lead off Spectre, because if they lead off Indeedee, I just, like, lose that. Let's do this. Um, there's, like, no way you don't bring the, the Naganadel. It's just a matter of if you lead off with it. Okay. I am fairly certain that I can actually just lead off like this. Rillaboom in the back. Could be bad. All right. Uh, I guess I mean, I could have, there, there are worse leads. That's how I'll put it. There are, there are indeed worse leads. Hmm. So, if they electroweb me, 
I am slower, and then I lose. But I could also hit him with the Yoinky Splinky, which they will never see. You know what? I've gotten this far with luck. Let's just see how far we can go. Oh, yo. Yo. Like, I know I'm going to give him this Defiant boost, but, um... Oh, no, I don't. Cool. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Just so you know, that was awful. That was an awful turn for me. Yeah, that was awful. <laughs> I, I like lose. I lose to this hard. Uh, because they should just protect the Regieleki here. My only chance is if they decide to go for close combat into Urshifu. And I can like get a U-turn off. Alright, close combat the Urshifu if you're real. They Brave Bird my Rillaboom, I live. Because I'm good at this game. Okay. Alright. Um... The question is, is it worth it to Nasty Plot, or should I just go for Shadow Ball? I think I just go for Shadow Ball. And I could U-turn right back out into my Rillaboom if that wasn't so important to hang on to. It may actually be in my best interest to double this Sarina. Nah, it's probably gonna live. Yeah. Okay. Uh, unwinnable? Maybe. Gaming? Definitely. I should not be able to KO the Zapdos with what I got here. Um, yeah. I mean, I have to lock Wicked Blow, but it definitely doesn't KO the Zapdos is the issue. If it were able to KO the Zapdos, I would have been fine here. Because I could, like, go for Grassy Glide into the, um, the Regieleki next turn. Because I, I think I outspeed. I mean, I have a decent amount of speed. I'm 108. No, I mean... I could go Poison Jab. I could go Poison Jab, but that doesn't catch... Yeah, it, like, I still lose. I mean, close combat technically does the same amount, too. They're both resisted. Yeah, let's just do that. They're thinking, too. Oh, I actually do KO. Hello? Did I outspeed? I did outspeed. Wait, this is winnable. Hold on. Guys, how many times will this happen to me? Where I'm, I'm like in a position where I definitely shouldn't be winning. Oh, yeah? Exactly what I wanted? Exactly what I wanted? Um... Do I double the Naganadel? I think I have to, but if they, they should protect Reggie Lucky here. You know, I'm going to choke it. I'm just going to Grassy Glide. I'm just going to Grassy Glide the, Nagana, uh, the, the, the Reggie Lucky. Because if they protect, yeah, I lose. But like if they miss an Electro Web, I could win. So technically that's safer. One would imagine here, they never protect the Naganadel. But they can actually protect the Reggie Lucky. That's the thing, because they should outspeed me. Like protecting it is a, a legitimate play. Did I actually win that? Alright guys, listen. I'm sometimes I feel like I oh I forgot to say GG. Hold on. Find a user. Chat. Got to say GG. Well played. Alright. I, I always feel bad. Listen, sometimes I feel like I have to apologize to you guys because I shouldn't be winning the matches I am. I'm going to be honest with you. This is another one of those I'm like recording like right after work. <laughs> Thank you so much. Podcast is mad lit, by the way. Yeah, you guys should check out the Route 1 podcast. That's uh, the podcast I'm part of. All right. I mean, conceptually, this team isn't that bad. It's like a four poke. It's it's a five Pokemon team with the Toxapex. Granted, our speed control leaves a lot to be desired. But what I really want to do is click like Hex. Oh wait, this is actually a really good game for Hex. Let's lead off Toxapex. Um, everything here can get poisoned. I also I obviously have to be careful with this um this guy. I think he knows me. Toxapex, here. 
I was wrong. Uh, but yeah, no. I mean, like, Toxic Spikes looks really great here. Spectre looks incredible if I can get it going. Um, and I mean, like, the lead Rillaboom isn't bad either. Neither is the lead Urshifu. I mean, I U-turn on, like, everything. Let's do that. Let's do, let's do lead Urshifu. And I'll bring in the Rillaboom and the, the spec. Actually, maybe I... Mm. I can't I can never make up my mind. I'm never satisfied. Let's do this. Uh this is this is probably the safest. I'm scared. He said this is my dream come true. Like, are you specifically aiming to beat Toxapex? Is that Hello? Misty Seed. Hello? I'm a... I don't know how to feel about that one. Um Let's go for the spikes. And I mean that just means the U-turn's fairly free. I can get in the Clefairy, but also I don't wanna like I don't I, I kinda don't wanna do that. What? Stop it. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> Hold on. Um, okay. I mean, yeah. Got my spikes off. Uh, I don't want to get in the Clefairy either. Dang it, man. What are you doing? What? What is your deal, buddy? I need to get rid of this terrain if I'm going to poison anything. But I also can't, like, get Spectrier and Clefairy. Dang it. Okay, hold on. Do I just go for the KO on the Dracovish? Like, I can deal a lot of damage and then I outspeed it. Yeah, I do that. I just go for KOs. Grassy Glide's my strongest move versus it. I could also use her, but it's not safe. Decent. Oh my god, he's bulky as hell. This doesn't KO me, right? Oh yeah, no, that doesn't KO me. No, not even close. Uh, Clefairy can eat that, too. Let's get, uh, let's get some recovery. Heal Pulse, interesting. Whirlpool, alright. Um, let's protect, and... This is a weird game. I'm gonna be real with you guys, this is a weird game. Let's just run Whirlpool. I mean, I can protect and just get in the Rillaboom here. Can you eat? You can eat. This is a weird. I, this is weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how to feel about this one. Uh, let's just go for the KO. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Double protect is also quite interesting. Um, more than anything, I'm interested in getting rid of this Dracovish. But it's it's like mad bulky, dude. It's actually mad bulky. I'm still trapped. Um, we can just go for follow me grassy glide. Yeah, I figured you'd protect, but you know. All right, I should 100% be able to KO something in this slot. Like there's not much that they can do here. Knockoff might actually be safer just to combo into the KO because, um, let me think. I think knockoff is safer because I should outspeed. That first turn we outsped it, right? Sorry, I'm like checking. Grassy Glide, yeah, we outsped both these, so I can just knock off. I know that it doesn't deal that much damage, but it's like still my best. Yeah, okay. Just in case it switched, you know. Got rid of the citrus berry. We're at plus one. All right. Honestly, like that's that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I think I protect and I U-turn here, or I might just get in the Toxapex. I want to keep my terrain for later. All right. Um, this is a resistant hit, right? But I am at plus one. I think I might be able to score a KO here. This is gonna be such an awkward end game. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I mean, the, the good thing is, is it's Citrus Berry Tapu Fini. So, you know, that does like nothing. Your AV. Uh, but I mean, confirming, I mean, maybe it is an AV. I'll be honest, it could not be AV. 
I could just be losing right here. Much safer just to glide though. Go for a Scald Burn. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure I lose that. I did get the burn, or I did get the poison though, which is kind of cool. Um, let's go for Scald onto you. High horsepower deals a lot. I'd imagine that I end up losing here if they connect the next one. So I have to Baneful Bunker. Try to recover, pretty sure I lose here. Yeah, all right, GG. Okay, there's nothing here. Like, everything here can get poisoned, so everything here will get poisoned. That's how I'm gonna play this one. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, obviously this guy can't get poisoned, but that's that's besides the point. Listen, and also Toxpex walls it out, so that's that's what's important here. Let's go ahead and lead off like this. Toxapex, Incineroar, maybe. Clefairy seems almost mandatory, to be honest. But I think the Incineroar leads a lot safer. I bring the Urshifu. I could also just lead off Urshifu for like immediate damage. Let's do that. Um, Urshifu, Clefairy, Incineroar. Okay. I know I'm not bringing the Spectre, but just like that immediate poison damage in a lot of these mods is actually going to be really sick. Okay. This is pretty epic. Uh, I can go for Scald Burns, actually. That might be a little bit more valuable to me. Can I get in the Incinera here? For an Intimidate? Yep. No Scald Burn. Let's go for another one. I'm going to switch in the Clefairy now. Okay. They're going to go for U turn. I mean, winning this is basically just a matter of. Uh, I could Moonblast and just Toxic Spikes here. I mean, I can't protect, obviously. So just getting this like damage on the Urshfu is really nice. Yeah, it does like half. Thank you. Thank you, Toxpex. Or er, Clefairy, you're very cool. Shouldn't KO me. I actually KO this thing next turn, which is something that they have to watch out for. Let's go for another Toxic Spikes and... Um, I think I still go for the... Mm, I could go for the Protect here, assuming that they want to switch out. Not exactly worth it though. Yeah, they just give it to me. Nice. Uh, and here I get in my Urshifu. Yep, cool. Let's go for another Scald Burn and switch in the Incen. Obviously, I don't want to get double targeted with my Urshi. They could double Trick Room as well, but it doesn't really matter as long as I get like two more Scalds off. Oh, my bad. <laughs> they go Rilla, cool. Rilla gets poisoned, which is very awesome. I get an Intimidate off. Let's see if they body press. They do. It one shots me, which is not very cash money. Can I get a burn? Burn. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, this is strangely winnable. Uh, I lock... Do I lock close combat here? I lock close combat in Arilla Boom, funny enough. Need to get rid of this thing. And I might be able to beat the Porygon too, just by spamming Recover, because it's going to get poisoned. It's going to get badly poisoned. But uh, that Thunderbolt could hurt, which is why I want to... Oh, no, that's huge. That's absolutely huge. They just give it to me. Incredible. Guys, it's the streamer difference. You might not believe me. It really is the streamer difference. Because, like, give me one reason not to just go for Scald into, like, close combat onto this guy. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Let's go for recover. Another choice man close combat. The streamer difference like will always pay off for me, and I have no idea why. And also my mouse is acting up. Close combat. You go down in like two turns. Let's well, baneful bunker in close combat. Why not? I'm paralyzed. Alright. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm gonna let them touch me. I'm I'm just gonna let them touch me. They still don't know my item. I haven't revealed it. <laughs> Alright, GG, well played. Was me winning that a factor of getting that scald burn? Yes. Uh, was it still like extremely cool and awesome? Yeah. Let's get one more. Maybe we can go like three and one. Actually, we're already through. Oh, it's this guy again. <laughs> it's this guy again with the annoying bulky Dracovish that I have no idea what to do about. Uh, I can just go. Uh, all right, here's the thing. Last time I was like, what do I do? Um, I lead off Spectre Clefairy and like they have nothing for that. Uh, in the back, I'm going to bring the Toxpex because I insist on being funny and I'm going to bring the Urshifu. All right, nasty plot. Follow me. I, I'm faster than you. You don't really do that much damage. I have a focus sash. There's a lot of cool stuff on my side, you know? They may actually go for muddy water, and if they get a special, or not a special, but if they get uh, an evasion or uh, accuracy drop, that could be really annoying. Um, I believe here I can always just nasty plot again and follow me. Or alternative, no. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I think I just go for the shadow ball damage and follow me. Because it should be a two-shot. I mean, are they weirdly bulky? Yeah. Do I care? No. No, I don't. I want the damage. That's half. Cool. Heal pulse. Uh, hello? All right, cool. I'll take it. Very poggers. Thank you. Let's nasty plot again and follow me because I can do that now. Because <laughs> I can do that now. Did you not know? Did they not know? I guess they just didn't know. That's the thing. You can follow me away the heal pulse. Do it again. Protect. Uh, let's go for the... I don't want to hard switch out. I think I just want to... Do I hard switch out? I mean, hard switching out can't really be that bad unless they Moonblast me. Let's go for the uh, the Moonblast under their Tyranitar for Chip. All right, cool. That's what I needed. I get in my Urshifu, and I'm fairly certain that's probably just game because I go for Shadow Ball. I go for Close Combat. Yeah, they hand both of those over. I'm pretty sure that's game. They let me get too much boost with the Spectre. Dude, Spectre is actually kind of nasty. It is It is actually quite nasty. Arguably the nastiest. Um, For real. For realsies. Shadow Ball should KO you from this range. Close combat into you. I mean, I mean, I guess we, technically we, you know, do the obvious. But I beat the Tyranitar with Toxapex. So we're, like, fine on that front. And also on like every front because I'm close combating. Okay. Well, I mean, we did good today. We're 1432. Just like, that's like mid ladder. Um, not like high mid ladder, but like low mid ladder, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, man, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Right. <laughs> because I'm like, I, I, I loaded up this team and I said, all right, Marcos, you're going to do another sleepy Marco session. Maybe I should do the sleepy Marco sessions a little bit more often. Um, because I don't think the Toxpex is really that bad. I don't. It's a funny Pokemon. Um, you, you're pretty much forced to play it on Hyper Offense, uh, because the only way to maintain pressure in such a way that they just leave the Toxpex alone is to have something scarier next to it. So while the Toxpex, they can be like, I can just ignore that and deal with everything next to it. Um, if you just overwhelm them, like, I guess that's like another alternative, uh, to <laughs> having Fake Out, you know, just put a Spectre next to it and they go, okay, public enemy number one. But yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. Once again, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content and answer my comment question of the day. What sort of thing should I make shorts about? Uh, lots of fun, interesting topics. I have a, a few coming down the pipe. I just released one up with my thoughts on Wiglet and what it might be doing in competitive. So be sure to check that out. It's in my shorts tab. But yeah, with that, have a nice one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.